Just one more thing to do.
You got a minute? Sure, yeah. I wanted to speak to you anyway. Oh, okay. Well, you go first. Uh, for sure. Well, I wanted to thank you for killing Kotomi Ida. I don't know how you did it, but thanks. Huh? How did you know she died? <laughs> oh, come on. She didn't come in today, right? And there was that brutal stabbing incident over at the station last night? It don't take a genius to put three and three together. That shit went down so close to here, where we spend so much of our time, chances were good that it affects someone we know. Well, uh, yeah. I guess that's it then. I'm thankful. For serious. And Corpse Girl really did me and Shinya solid. If there's ever anything you need, like, no matter how dirty, then count me in. I owe ya. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Sure. So, like, what'd you want to say to me? Oh, I was going to tell you that Kotomi is dead. <laughs> Beat you to it, skank! Hmm. But I got a question or two. How'd you get someone to go on a killing spree and take Kotomi out along with the others? I mean, it wasn't you going around stabbing people, was it? No, of course not. Oh? It kind of happened outside my control. Hmm. I sent Kotomi a photo of her corpse, just like Corpse Girl's standard mode of operation. And I gave her the instructions to kill someone, if she didn't want the circumstances of the photo to come true. Holy shit. She kind of ran with it, I guess. Seems like she took out four people before someone fought back and stabbed her. <sighs> I think I'm in love with her, to be honest. <laughs> you weird slut! That's horrible! <sighs> what can I say? She went above and beyond. Still, thanks. Really. Shinya will be stoked. That's okay. I'm just doing Corpse Girl's job. Where is Shinya, anyway? Oh, he was in earlier. Went home a bit early because he wasn't feeling well. Think it was just because he was dreading running into Kodomi, but... Well, he'll sort himself out soon enough. Hmm. You know, Noriko, you've changed a lot. I have? Totes. I mean, I know you act different around me now that we're friends, but it's more than that. You look... I don't know kind of better, healthy or something. Oh, I didn't know about that. Serious, though. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just see it different now that I know who you really are. Maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. You want to grab a bite or something? Not today, sorry. Maybe another time? Sure thing. Right, see you, skank! Hello. Wanna see the place? Mm, no greeting, huh? 
sauce. Hi. Want to see the place? What if I'm busy right now? Ah, sauce. You busy? No. Right? Want to see the place? Yep. Where is it? Bad. Shin Okubo, behind K-Town. An abandoned factory. Just what you wanted. Shin Okubo? That's suspiciously convenient. Why? I work in Shinjuku. It's just one station away on my train line. Okay. I'm heading there now. You in? I'm in. How do I get to the factory from the station? Exit the station to Okubodori. That's K-Town proper. I'll message you the full address. Okay, got it. Just head through Koreatown. I'll be there soon. Mad. Bye. This place is amazing! You haven't seen inside yet. How do we get in? Around here. It's perfect. Thanks. Figured you'd approve. How did you know about this place? Dad used to work here. What did he do here? This place used to manufacture steel fencing, chain link fences, barbed wire, chicken mesh. That kind of thing. Huh, I see. A lot of that is imported now. There's still an industry here, but... Dad couldn't compete. Went out of business maybe a dozen years ago. Died about a month later. He died? 
That's how it goes. I'm sorry. We weren't close. Well, could have been closer. So, how come no one else bought the factory? Look around. It's a dump. Who'd want it? Cost a fortune to fix or rebuild. Wonder if it was waiting for us. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. Going half on this, right? Right. Okay. Good. Welcome home then. Or something. Let's work well together. Roger that. Accompanying me home. No problem. Should I come upstairs? No, I don't think that's necessary. Okay. By the way, when are we starting work? Well, as soon as I. I mean, as soon as Corpse Girl receives another request for a death, we can start on it. Oh, no grand heist from the morgue first? Think about it. It's important that the cadavers I use match the details of my victims. I won't know what kind of cadaver to use until I receive a photo of the victim. Guess that makes sense. What's the big plan anyway? How do we lift corpses from the morgue? Hmm, I imagine the biggest issue is writing off the bodies, so to speak. If a cadaver goes missing or is unaccounted for, there will be an investigation. Am I right? Guess so. We need to be able to take the bodies away from the morgue without anyone ever knowing they're gone. So, the solution is simple. We only take the cadavers that are due to be cremated. Okay, wise guy. A delivery company picks up the cremains nearly every day. Huh? Cremains? That's what the ashes are called. Oh, right. So what do we hand over? Empty canisters? It's simple. Fake ashes. Yeah, right. Fake ashes. Like I just have those lying around. Huh. Might be onto something. Don't tell me you do have those lying around. Hmm. Not fake ashes. Real cremains. Bodies are cremated every day. Wouldn't be hard to take a bit off the top. Huh? Could probably get away with, like, a quarter? I'm confused. What are you talking about? Sauce. Every time someone gets cremated, I'll collect a quarter of the ashes. Store them, put them aside. Won't take long to fill up a whole canister. Let me see if I follow you. You gather up a little bit of ash from every cadaver that gets cremated. Whenever we want to hoist a body from the morgue, we use the previously gathered ashes to fill a canister. We slap a label on it that says, These are the remains of so-and-so. Then we take so-and-so out of the morgue. We record that their body has been cremated, when in reality, it's been snatched from the morgue. I imagine the canister of ashes just gets picked up with all the others going out on the same day. Pretty much. We also put a token in the canister. A token? Like a dog tag, has the cadaver's serial number engraved on it. Normally attached to the body before cremation. They don't burn. Let's the cremains be identified later. Ah, I see. Can we get our hands on those tokens? Sure. The bodies we're lifting from the morgue are due for cremation anyway. I can get the tokens engraved without a hitch. Proper serial numbers and all. Okay, good. This is getting complicated, though. Ah, there's quite a bit we have to remember to do. Don't worry. I'll take you through it when we need to. 
Most importantly, I'll need to start gathering portions of cremains. Need to have those collected in advance. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Really. No problems. But big question remains. What's that? How do we move cadavers out of the morgue? Ever tried lifting a stiff? Not easy. And you're no bodybuilder. No offense. Um, none taken? Look, security in the joint is minimal. I'm there alone like 90% of the time. We don't have to worry too much about getting busted. As long as we cover our tracks, of course, and only take cadavers we've written off, as you put it. Bodies nobody will come looking for. Hang on. Are there security cameras, alarm systems, anything like that? Don't think so. Plenty in the hospital proper, though. That's fine. As long as the morgue is clear. Still, answer my question. How do we move the bodies? You got a hearse? A truck? No, but surely we could get something. What about a small van? You got a license? No. Need a driver's license. And not just that, needs to be suitable for a van. A medium vehicle license, I think. Oh. I don't have a license, but... Surely driving a van can't be that hard, right? We could just rent a van and wing it. Uh-huh. Can't even rent one without a license. <sighs> okay then. Do you have the right license? Don't look at me. Never driven a vehicle in my life. <sighs> yeah, me neither. Great. So this is a bust. Sure. Do you have a driver's license? 